Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone. I hope you're doing really well. This reading is for Pisces. I know it's been so long since you guys have had a reading from me. So um, somebody left a comment under one of the videos saying that they've missed me and I was like, you know what, it's been so long. Let me just try and get something out there, you know, for you guys. And, you know, plus I do really like reading. It's just been a case of having the time and to be able to set up and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, here I am and here the readings are. So <laughs> uh, the deck I'll be using is the Tower of the Divine and it's a really gorgeous multicultural deck. It's just really, really beautiful and well made. I have no complaints about this deck whatsoever and it's really good to use intuitively. So I'll use this tarot deck with this oracle deck, which is the Legendary Ladies Goddess deck. This is a really gorgeous one. I have been loving working with it so much. I don't know the goddesses very well. Like quite a few of them are really new to me. Um, so I definitely have to go away and do more research and stuff on these goddesses. But I just thought it would be really nice to pair them together because the artwork like really works well with these two decks. So um, we'll see what's showing up for you. Because I was an eager beaver, <laughs> I already had pulled out one card, which is the Ace of Coins with the Magician. That's nice. Oh, this is such a cute card. Oh, she's so adorable. And then we have, oh, here comes the Three of Wands again. We've seen, we've seen the Three of Wands about three times so far um, in some other readings. So a lot of people have this Three of Wands energy. And again, I'm like, it's, it's just like what I said to Scorpio. I think it's because of this full moon in Leo that we're um, heading towards. So I feel like that's bringing a lot of this kind of fiery energy that is, we're seeing even in the water sign. So it's interesting well, it, well to be honest that makes sense because of you know for pisces you're you know you you have a connection with the moon as well and so um it's uh it's, it's kind of no surprise actually uh, <laughs> that you you have a fiery kind of element going on as well with this full moon but the ace of the ace of coins is about your money situation and the magician and so to me it's like you guys are manifesting stability in your life right now so you guys are thinking a lot about your future in terms of your future finances you might be thinking a lot about your savings about you know your pensions all these kind of things like things um, that can create a stable living situation for you. So it could be a home situation where you, you want stability in your home life or where you live. So there's a lot of that going on. And I feel like you are making all the efforts to make more money as well or trying to bring in more. If you are, you know, uh, inclined to do magic and and to use things like the law of attraction and you know all this kind of stuff you might be using those things to be able to bring money to you as well like maybe some spiritual um things to be able to bring more money your way but i feel like um then when the magician shows up is saying that you know the right things to do so you're you're able to really be in control of the situation and to really bring things to you that are going to be of really great value uh, so that's really good and it's very new because you know magician is a one card and ace is also the one one as well out of the um the coins suit so there's a lot of new things you can manifest uh at this time also so if you're looking for a new job for instance if you're looking for um a new uh, income stream you, you know to create something that can bring you more money it's it's a really good time to be doing those things to be actively working towards those things because you're moving you know up you're, you're moving into a new sphere of things and a lot of people seem to be actually so a lot of people have this drive and i think the reason why it is as well is because with all the stuff that's been happening with the pandemic and stuff you know as well as a lot of businesses have been affected negatively some have been really affected in, in positive ways as well and a lot of people have created new businesses at this time and you know and and you know it's it's, it's sort of um it's interesting how things come about when it's a time of uh economic difficulty in terms of 
uh, people losing work and things like that because usually other industries begin to open up you know um, as well as certain things sort of go away so I kind of feel like this is a good time to really look at that like what how can you utilize maybe certain things that's that's happening around you to be able to either you know see if you can turn it into some kind of money-making venture like I've seen so many people even create um, food services like all of a sudden because I guess you know now because so many people are, are at home um, a lot of people are ordering out, ordering like takeaway. So a lot of people that let's say like cooking and stuff like that, um, they're creating these businesses where they're making food and, you know, people are buying from them and, you know, so now, now all of a sudden this is a new venture for them, you know? So it's, it's just about looking into these different ways, unique ways that we can also bring in, um, money also, um, with this ace of wands energy i see that a lot of things can be taken off so it's just a case of just just pushing forward and just seeing where where your magic <laughs> leads you your oracle card was is hecate which is magic which really ties into what we've already been talking about with your tarot cards so basically it's like all the magic that you have in bringing things into manifestation is really powerful right now so if you are already a person that works with goddesses Hecate might be a really good goddess for you to work with at this time I'll also read a bit of the description out of the book that comes with the deck it says time to get witchy with it goddess of magic and the queen of crossroads Hecate reminds us that we are at the crux of our own power. You'll be at your most magical now. And Hecate is reinforcing that power. So with that, I feel like it's so self-explanatory. But it's a really amazing and empowering message. That basically you are just this really powerful, magnificent being that can manifest everything basically you want and you desire like at this time and i feel like for a lot of you guys it's got to do with money finances stability and it's really going to be happening for you in a really big way you just have to use that manifestation energy to be able to bring it into being so and and the universe is supporting you so many blessings to you pisces i'll be seeing you bye